Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Kamini Quest. Today, I'm checking out this. <laughs> yeah, it's a chili cheese dog from 7-Eleven. Um, it's 238 yen here. I asked the lady working there to heat it up for me a little bit, but it looks kind of messy. And while I was setting up my camera, I think it was sort of getting all sort of wet in the bag here, you know? You know how that happens, all the steam. But anyhow, let me try to slide this out. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna tear, I'm just gonna tear it off here. There we go. What a mess. <laughs> so luckily, being a professional food reviewer, I have lots of napkins in my car. So there you go. That is a chili cheese dog from 7-Eleven. Yeah, it's, it said it's loaded with chili sauce, which you can see on the top there. And then there's a strip of, it looks like some sort of processed cheese. It's a little bit warm. I think it's cooled down a bit. And also when she asked me if, you know, if I wanted it heated up, I just said, you know, heat it up just a little bit because sometimes they kind of nuke it to death. So <laughs> here we go. Mm. The uh, wiener has a nice kind of snap to it when you bite into it. That's kind of typical of a Japanese wiener. Mm. It has a kind of tangy sort of chili flavor. Not like chili spice, but just like a big pot of chili kind of flavor. Mm. I'm not really getting a lot of cheese flavor on it just because of all the chili going on. That's totally fine. Is this tasty? Yes. Is this better than a normal hot dog? Definitely. So would I get this again? Actually, you know, I would. This is actually pretty tasty. It's got a little bit of heat coming on there. Nice tangy chili sauce. The cheese, you know, whatever. It's there, I guess. The only thing about it that I would change would be maybe to heat it up just a little bit longer. You run the risk of getting kind of hard bread, but at least your wiener will be nice and warm. Mm. So yeah, that's the kind of the way it goes here in Japan. If you get a hot dog at a convenience store, it's usually just packaged sitting on the shelf like that. So as far as those types of things are concerned, this is actually pretty dang good. Okay, actually looking at the packaging again, <laughs> I kind of just dived right in. Um, it says it's got like a lot of sauce and it also has four different kinds of cheese so I didn't really notice four different kinds of cheese it was just like a strip of this processed goop but it says it's got cheddar um, parmesan mozzarella and cream cheese <laughs> so I guess that stripe was all those four mixed together or something whatever that's not really a selling point I guess well maybe for some people but um, I didn't really notice. And while I was in there, I also found some taco rice potato chips. So yeah, there's a big old picture of what taco rice looks like. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I like taco rice. Basically what it is, is it's a taco, like the, the, the innards of a taco put on top of rice, essentially. There's taco meat, there's tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and taco sauce. So hopefully these are going to be really good. Um, it's an Okinawan dish, but it's also kind of popular throughout Japan. I've never had it in potato chip form before. It smells like peanuts somehow, but yeah, there you go. You can see very, very coated in this colorful orange kind of thing. Here we go. Mm. What a strange flavor. There's no way I would be able to tell that this was supposed to be taco rice if I didn't read the packaging. It smelled, like I said, it smelled like peanuts when I first opened it. It doesn't taste like peanuts. It tastes something roasted though. It has a sort of roasted flavor. But I'm not getting taco rice at all. A little tangy, could be simulating the tomato 
or the sauce and a slight bit of heat very slight they taste okay I guess but I wouldn't say they taste like taco rice so maybe the the people that designed this flavor were trying really hard to make it taste different than just taco you know what I mean a taco a sort of Mexican spice flavor um, which it, it does have a totally different flavor than that I mean they're good but I'm not getting taco rice I also wanted to take a little bit of time to mention that I sent some items to Emmy made in Japan I know a lot of you guys are already very familiar with her channel if you're not I'll leave a link down below you can check out that video um, it's not part of my package project I guess um, at the start of the year January I send out a bunch of packages to some channels that I asked you to recommend um, we're still waiting to hear back from one or two of them um, but Emmy wasn't one of them she was just someone that I sent some stuff to so please go check out her video and hopefully we'll hear from a few more of the package project for this year and also thanks to any of you guys that have come over to my channel to see what we're doing here thanks to her recommendation okay and for today's drink I have this brand new Fanta flavor that just came out it is lychee and salt so salted lychee I guess it's got lots of minerals and vitamins sometimes it says it's got like 1% juice here oh, here it says there's got 0% juice no juice at all so uh, yeah let's give this a try Ooh, it has a very lychee smell as you would imagine okay so I guess Keeping it up with my tradition, I want to offer a toast to three more of my Patreons. So, Kampai, <laughs> to Daniel Groth, to Roy's Mania, and to Beth Campbell. Thanks a lot for supporting me on my Patreon, and cheers to you. Mm. It's a very, if you've ever had a lychee drink, or I guess if you've ever even had a lychee, it tastes like a lychee. Is it salty? Hmm. It's helping to wash away the flavor of the <laughs> taco rice chips, but I guess some lychee drinks I've had in the past are a little kind of syrupy, a little sweeter maybe. So this is going in a different direction. I'm not really just tasting salt, which I guess is a good thing. But again, if I didn't read the word salt here, I probably wouldn't notice that it was salty. It was just sort of a lychee flavor. Good, so tasty. So today's review, everything tasted fine. You know, I would, I guess I would try the hot dog again. This, I don't mind drinking again. The taco rice chips were okay as well. I don't know if I'd ever buy them again, but they were okay as well. And one last thing, which I guess will be my dessert later. I got some peaches that I did not get at the convenience store. I just dropped some stuff off at JD's place and his wife gave me these peaches. So I'm gonna enjoy those later on. So there you go, that's it for today's episode of Kombini Quest. Thanks for joining me and thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button and we'll catch you guys in the next video.